Today we're joined by Dr. M. Stanley Whittingham. Dr. Whittingham, it's great to meet you. Thank you. And also congratulations on being named as the recipient of the 2018 MRS David Turnbull Lectureship Award. Thank you. Quite an honor. Now the Turnbull Award is unique among MRS awards in that it honors not only the research but also the communications of that research. I want you to tell us a little bit about the importance of the communications and the teaching side of being a material scientist. The great advantage of being a material scientist, you teach chemists, physicists and engineers, you're not restricted to any one discipline. And at Binghamton about 15 years ago, we in fact developed a new materials science and engineering program because of demand from the students who wanted these interdisciplinary efforts. I should have mentioned right off the bat, you were instrumental in the development of the lithium ion battery, which is ubiquitous these days. Tell us about what led to your work in that area. Well, I joined what was then SO Research to expand their capabilities beyond petroleum and chemicals. They want to be the energy company, not the oil company. So we got into batteries, fuel cells, they did nuclear reprocessing. They were the largest manufacturer of solar cells at that time in the world. So we started investigating batteries. We had an oil crisis in 73. Mm -hmm. They decided to get into electric vehicles. So we started working on new batteries and I wouldn't say stumbled on lithium ion batteries, but um, <laughs> our interest on superconductivity and out of that came hey, we can store energy in these intercalation reactions. It was a fortuitous stumble, that's for sure. So the impetus was the energy crisis, and originally you were looking for an energy source for vehicles. Right, yes. This was back in 71? Well, it started at Stanford in 71. I moved to Exxon in 72 and built on the work I did at Stanford, together with a number of colleagues who also moved from Stanford to Exxon and Bell Labs at that time. Now, did you ever imagine when you first started this research, that it would end up being where it is today, with lithium ion batteries in nearly every electronic gadget. No, it wasn't, it wasn't no. You had a few little batteries for device remember, there were no computers there, there were no, I wouldn't say any gadgets even in those days. So having the batteries, I think, enabled the gadgets to be developed. Without, no, the batteries, there wouldn't be gadgets. Now tell me about some of the improvements. I've got to think the original battery was quite large. Now lithium ions, some of them are the size of coins. Yeah, but some of our initial ones were also tiny. Were they? They were built for smart watches. And one of the first markets Exxon sold them to were in fact the Swiss, Swiss battery companies. But their goal was to make large ones for electric vehicles, but they wanted to test them out in something a little bit smaller to begin with. Are you still seeing improvements? Oh yes, every day the energy density is going up and obviously for the consumer the cost is going down. Which is always a good thing. So uh, looking into that crystal ball, where do you see this research going? Are there still more discoveries to be made? Oh yes, I think we know we can increase the energy density by a factor of two. That may need new materials. It certainly new, needs new engineering designs, how you build the batteries, put them together. You gave the Turnbull lecture. So tell me a little bit about what you spoke about. I spoke about really the history of how lithium batteries came about, how really the critical aspect of that is how ions move in solids. So that tied into some initial solid electrolytes, then we moved into initial batteries, then into you know, batteries really dominating everything. Just yeah. a few weeks ago, I gave a talk at Harvard and went to the David Turnbull room, which is a little museum to him, and they explained how this whole lecture came about. Dr. M. Stanley Whittingham, again, congratulations on the David Turnbull Lectureship Award. Enjoy your time in Boston.